So, go on. Yeah, you just, uh, okay. uh, you just unveiled a product at CBIT um, 2007. Uh, yeah. That's uh, very interesting. Uh, I think it's a, it's a universal um, cell phone charger. Yes. Yeah. We, we were the sensation of that stupid exhibition <laughs> because nothing new was there. At least the things I have seen were not worth the word. And uh, the charger, um, is it also uh, already available to, to buy? Where can you... Um, they have uh, eight million order. Eight million? <laughs> eight million wow. order for that thing. And who is producing it? Uh, I don't know. That's okay. not my job. Not I did the design. Okay. I get my license fee and that's okay. all. And they are selling it and it's so nice that uh, big companies are uh, buying this thing as a giveaway. For their customers, mm -hmm. and they, they, they told me that I've just concluded a market for eight million pieces yeah. of it, which is fantastic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because it's really a thing that um, yeah everyone needs. Because uh, it's really a, a stupid thing that every yes. um, company and has you its can own. charge any cell phone in the world with it. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's impressive. Oh yeah, it's a very interesting machine. It looks like a beetle, like a water beetle. Mm -hmm. Very nice little design. Everybody was laughing when they uh, saw it. Uh, <laughs> today, a um, um, girlfriend of mine, uh, she, um, she bought me uh, something um, that you designed. The squirrel, the cup. Oh, it's funny. It, and it's really nice because it's, it's, it works. Yeah. It's not only beautiful, it really works. It's, it's really Normally beautiful. our design works. Yeah. <laughs> Normally. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, um, what is interests me is um, how do you begin with the with an idea? How do you start? Um, do you have any idea in uh, in your head and and then do a, a sketch? Not, Not at all. Not at all. I most of the time am getting upset mm -hmm. about the design that's mm -hmm. around us, mm -hmm. and this is triggering the action mm -hmm. that starts the action, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we start, mm -hmm. and it's not very difficult to be better than the poor designers of today. They, uh, uh, I'm afraid to say so, they are afraid. They are copying each other. No one wants or has the guts to go ahead mm -hmm. and to show what we can do with the new materials we have today. Mm -hmm. We are inventing every day new materials. So uh, I'm uh, very disappointed. Only Asia is going ahead. China especially. Mm -hmm. I'm professor at three of the most important universities in Shanghai, Beijing and Nanjing. And uh, there it's... Next week I'm in Shenzhen being president of a jury over there uh, for young Chinese designers. Whenever I see what they're doing, mamma mia! Mm -hmm. They are very good indeed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, They have the technology they are hungry and they have the money. Mm. This is a terrific combination in, in nowadays. We in Europe, on the white society of, uh, uh, over the world, we are not hungry anymore. We are not optimistic at all. And <laughs> we have not the money that we needed <laughs> to go ahead. Mm. So uh, this is a dangerous situation for the white population of the world. Mm. The yellows are coming. Do you think um, the the development of design um, got it better or worse? worse? Worse. We are in the middle of a conservative time. The stupidity is nearly unbeatable. We have it nowadays. But I think it's only in Europe, not not in the in China, for example. In China, not at all. I mean, for the white population, America and this little bit of Europe and Russia. We are out of the game. We are already overtaken right, left, upstairs, downstairs. All around us is Chinese uh, production. <laughs> and and their, their optimism and their Asian uh, approach to design is very mm -hmm. different. And they are very fine craftsmen. Mm -hmm. They are the best in the world mm -hmm. with their hands. Mm -hmm. Unbeatable. Unbeatable. 
And um, concerning the, the, the form, uh, design style, um, you said they are very good in, in, the, in the craftsmanship, but um, some people here say, yeah, they have to, um, to, to get better um, regarding form and, and style. But well, uh, don't forget, five years ago, they very slowly opened themselves to our capitalist thinking. That means design was forbidden under Mao, totally forbidden. So they only had the chance to get the Kolani books from Japan. I have four books printed about Kolani design. They got them under the cover and they read them at night under the, in their bed covered with a little lamp. Otherwise they would be out of the game. So they have seen what could be done. And uh, when they opened themselves, there was a saying, Kolani, dead or alive, to China. <laughs> and I was invited for a cup of tea to the ambassador. And a week later, I got my first professorship mm. in Shanghai, 10 years ago. Mm. How many time do you spend there? Half, the the, half of the year? Yeah. yeah. I could stay there forever. Mm. But I'm afraid of uh, giving the deadly kick to Europe if I, stu uh, if I would be uh, uh, working overnight there. Uh, you make a drawing, they rip it away and produce it. Although, and here, you have to, to, to beg and to go on your knees for months on end to sell one thing. This continent is rich, lazy, and uh, more stupid than we should be normally. Mm. We are not working with our brains anymore over here. Mm. It's a pity we have a sensational research still in the white population of the world. We are still leading, but not for long anymore. Not for long anymore. Do you have any, um, or do you think there are, in your opinion, uh, designers who um yeah, uh, save the uh, European or white population uh, too here in Europe? Um. There are some. There are some. Some well known and some uh, not known at all. Mm. They are very good, but they don't have the industry behind them mm. that's producing this stuff. Mm. That's the thing. Mm. In China, they have lesser good designers, but they're producing like madmen. Mm. Whenever somebody has an idea, whoop! It's in production mm. and goes worldwide over the market. Mm. Yeah. So the interest um, among the students is very, um, yeah, it's a big interest or great interest. Uh, in China. In China. You have a lot of students. They are then. screaming all over the place when I'm speaking there. Mm. I have never seen such enthusiasm <laughs> than I have mm. <laughs> uh, seen in China. <laughs> but you're still teaching here as well? In no, no, not at all. Yeah, you have no students here in uh, no, Europe? No, nobody. Mm. They don't like me. Why? You see, uh, especially Germany is a country where you have to be obedient to, to everything. The law, the industry, and all the things that around you. Uh, they are all like margarine. Uh, cubes that you can put puff 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 in a shelf. Mm. If you are a ball, you're out of the game here. Mm. Mm. And that's what I am. Mm. And uh, the, most of the professors of uh, European, most German uh, high schools or universities are absolutely against Kolani. Mm. I don't care a thing about it because I'm working worldwide. But um, Germany has a big problem, a very big problem with advanced design, a very big problem. Uh, I can recall the um, um, beginning of the 70s, for example. The first um, um, thing, um, yeah, when the, the first um, time I um, yeah, came over the name design, or the, um, it was when you have been featured in a, in a technology magazine called Hobby. I oh, think yeah, it doesn't yeah, exist yeah. anymore. 
I, but uh, uh, it was very fascinating for me because uh, I have never seen uh, such things before. And uh, I think a lot of young kids um, felt the same. And I um, yeah. have a friend, uh, talk to a friend uh, um, yeah. um, two years ago and he said, yeah, um, he went into the, the art design business because of you. Oh, yeah. So um, I think you had um, even already then a, a big influence on the, on you the see, young people. You uh, see, I do this business for 51 years exactly. Mm. Mm. Last year I had my 50 years of design. So everybody had ample time to look at Kulani design worldwide. And as the Asians are very much interested in design, in modern design, than the European designers. Uh, they have my name everywhere over there. I'm like a design god in Japan. Mm. I was last week in Japan with a collection of things, uh, things I put on display over there. Whew. Television, journalists all over the place. Yeah. They are interested in and they had enough time to copy Kolani or to understand Kolani design, which in my philosophy I'm much nearer to the Asian design because Asians are Buddhists and they see themselves dug into the earth up to here, living with beetles, flowers, grass and everything in unison. They live together. They're all goddess for them. So when somebody came to Japan, named Kolani, who took sharks and built high-speed planes out of that, or who took underwater beetles to design super streamlined cars, beating world records, I was their spokesman immediately. Mm. And uh, the years I was there, well, nearly 10 years in Japan, uh, I told them, if I see one of you copying again in America or in Germany or in Europe, I, I smash your camera. Look back on the Asian continent where China is a big power, thousands and thousands of years old, and try to find out a new, a third way, not the American moneymaker design, nor the European Cerebral design, uh, sophisticated. No, you are Asian component in the design business. And if you're too stupid, I stay here for a little while. 